Internet security or die. 10 easy habits to protect yourself online. Ah, the internet. You got malware, adware, bots, bugs, rootkits, spyware, trojan horses, viruses, ransomware, phishing and worms, all just waiting to ruin your day or your life. Bad things can happen to you just by going online. You could lose your files on your computer. You could lose the use of the computer itself. Hackers could view your personal files, everything you do on screen, and see your passwords and credit card numbers. Your identity could be stolen. Your privacy could be breached in a dangerous or embarrassing way. If you're a home user or have a home office, you don't need to worry about the world-class hackers specifically targeting, targeting you. You're just not worth their time. What you do need to worry about is less skilled hackers looking for low-hanging fruit. That is, easy to exploit vulnerabilities. Let's follow the top 10 easy internet security habits to get rid of that low-hanging fruit. There are a couple of reasons why you would not follow these steps. One is you don't know how. The other is you're just a fool. So, let me show you how. Number 10. Remember, email is not private. So think twice before you email confidential information. Keep in mind, once you email something, it's stored on servers all over the world outside your control. Number 9. Beware of phishing. Phishing is an attempt to steal confidential information such as passwords, credit card numbers, etc., usually done by getting you to go to a fake website that looks very real. Beware of links in emails. For example, suppose you get an email that your credit card payment is due with a link to your bank account in the email. As there's a chance that the link goes to a phishing site, make it a habit not to click on that link, but instead exit the, your email and then access your bank account through your browser. Bottom line is, any website can be fake and malicious. You can check any suspicious link before you click on it using the URL checker VirusTotal.com. VirusTotal is a free website that analyzes suspicious files and URLs. Number 8. Be careful what you post online. Don't post private information on social media accounts. Think before you post. Do you really want to share this with the entire world? Forever? Just assume whatever you post will be available to anyone to see for years to come, and you'll be okay. Number seven, verify new apps are clean before you install them. Be aware that any app, which is a program or software, that you get could be infected. The best way to assure the, an app is clean is to trust the source. If you download it from a trusted site like Microsoft.com, it's probably okay. But if you got it on a thumb drive from a friend of a friend, beware. If you are unsure, scan the file on the website VirusTotal.com to make sure it's clean. Number six, beware of social engineering. Social engineering is the psychological manipulation of a person into performing actions or divulging confidential information. Today's social engineers are like the con men of the past. Suppose a hacker wants to get your username and password to break into your account. What's the easiest way to get it? Simple, just ask you. You might get a call like this. Hello? This is Mr. Williams over at the First Best Bank. We just had a server crash here, and it appears that your account was compromised. I'm the engineer here in the process of restoring your account, 
but we need you to provide us with your username and password right away or else you could lose your account entirely. Don't fall for this. Although real social engineering attacks may be less obvious, keep in mind that no legit engineer would ever ask you for your password. Not ever. Due to the dangers of social engineering, never give out your personal information over the phone unless you know the person for sure. And under the same topic, we have Scareware. Now, Scareware uses social engineering to make you think your PC has been infected in order to manipulate you into buying unneeded software. Typically, you get a message on your PC that you've been compromised with some dangerous malware. Then they try to trick you into buying and installing their software to fix it. Best case here is that the software is useless, so you're merely throwing away money. More than likely, installing their software will actually install malware onto your PC that you never had before. Don't fall for this scam. Secure home Wi-Fi, that's number five. Wireless can pose additional security risks as opposed to wired communication. Try this. Log into your laptop through Wi-Fi in the house. Now walk outside with your laptop to the street. Still working okay? That means the signal from your wireless antenna is reaching out to the street, meaning a hacker out in the street might also be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. Suffice to say, once connected, the hacker could do some pretty nasty stuff. Stopping the hacker is pretty easy by using WPA2 encryption. Always use encryption because it scrambles the Wi-Fi signal that the hacker sees, making it impossible for him to connect to your network or view your confidential information. When setting up the encryption in your wireless access point, it may have a choice for WPA2, WPA, or WEP. Never choose WPA or WEP as these are older standards that are not secure. Also, when setting up the Wi-Fi password, always choose a strong password that's not a dictionary word in your wireless access point. A weak password based on a dictionary word can easily be cracked. Number four, use antivirus software. Actually, most antivirus software protects your PC against all malware, not just viruses, including adware, bots, bugs, rootkits, spyware, Trojan horses, ransomware, malicious websites, and worms. Make sure you choose antivirus that protects you against all of these. Remember, antivirus must be installed on every PC that you use. Antivirus must be configured for real-time protection, meaning it detects malware automatically on the fly. For example, if you were to try to download and install an infected piece of software from the internet, the antivirus program would warn you first. Commonly, antivirus companies offer a free version and a pay version, where the free version omits real-time protection, so the free version is not safe for everyday use. Lastly, make sure your antivirus DAT files are up to date. DAT files contain the up-to-date virus signatures that antivirus programs use to protect your computer against specific malware. As new viruses come out, your antivirus company writes new DAT files to protect you against these new viruses. These are configured to be downloaded to your PC automatically, usually daily. But remember, your PC must be online to get them. Number three, perform regular backup. Got important files on your PC? If you're not backing them up, it's not if you'll ever lose them, but when. A fool and his files are soon parted. Files can be lost in the following ways. 
you accidentally delete them, your PC or hard drive crashes, or by hackers or by malware. Bottom line, back up your files or you will eventually lose them. Don't store your backup files in the building where the PC is. Think fire and theft, etc. Also, don't rely on your memory to perform regular backups. You'll forget. So make it automatic. So, choose a home backup software where you can get it to backup every night on its own automatically and it stores your backup securely online. An example of a good product is Mosey Home by Dell, which incidentally is the one that I use. Number two, perform regular patching. Every day, new vulnerabilities are found in operating systems like Windows and applications like Microsoft Office. These vulnerabilities can be exploited by hackers to attack your software. Each time Microsoft learns about a new vulnerability, they produce a patch to eliminate that particular vulnerability. And each time Microsoft comes out with a new patch, you need to apply it to your PC to be protected from that particular attack. As time goes on, if you don't patch, you become more and more vulnerable to attacks. Fortunately, Windows makes it easy to patch your PC automatically without having to think about it with Windows Update. The program Windows Update comes pre-installed on your PC. Simply make sure it's configured to install updates automatically. And number one, use strong passwords. This is an urgent habit. Why? Because there are lots of hackers out there with sophisticated software trying to crack your passwords so they can log into your accounts as you. Strong passwords defeat them. Strong passwords are at least eight characters, use a combination of uppercase, lowercase, and special characters, and don't contain dictionary words. Yet it's incredible how many people use weak passwords. Why? Because they're easy to remember. Let me show you a way to use the strongest passwords without having to remember them. This is done using password management software like LastPass. Only remember one master password and keep the rest locked up in an easy to find way in the LastPass password manager. Not only can LastPass generate the strongest possible passwords, but it can automatically fill in the password for you so you never have to remember them at all. LastPass is a free program and I highly recommend it. Find the link in the description below. And bonus! The entire transcript of this presentation is in the description below for your reference including all the links. This way you can refer to it so you can keep these habits in mind. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Huckleberry and if you like the video please mash down that like button. Also if you have questions leave them in a comment and I will answer them for you in a, in a timely manner. Thanks for listening.